All your power to it. <laughs> That's some you slap me around. What are you doing? We're going back. Are you ready? How much I? Hold on. Man, I don't know. Hit the clock, yeah. Ready? I'm gonna go here. Yeah. Yeah, she is, and I don't really care for it. She does it with a smile on her face, too. That's the fun. No, 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 play your game. You got a couple of them? <laughs> Ah, look what it is. No, who's my 
Yeah, I think so. No, I don't like that. I'm going to go here. That's okay. Doing very well. Remove your king. That's a good one. Protect the king. I'm going to trade. I'm going to make a queen. You're not making a queen. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. That wasn't nice. Going for a queen. That's my queen. See ya. That's a queen. Oh yeah, it is. Watch what happens. You're supposed to take. Take. Can I just go eat all these up? That's what you should do. I'm gonna go there. Don't care. Let you beat me. Love it. Let that isn't nice. If I get that piece, I win. Yeah, that's the way we play. Colette, thank you. You beat me. You let me. I didn't let you win anything. Hey guys, Brian here. And yes, Colette is back. She came for the first time a couple months back and made an immediate impact. And people loved her. And rightly so, because she was playing great uh, back then and here too as well. Look at this. Using the G-Pawn as a distraction for the king. Moving this king over, cleaning up, and eventually queening the A pawn there at the end. So, man, that is <laughs> that was a great, great play by Colette and great fight by Mike as well. And I think one of the reasons why people love Colette so much is that she seems like a sweet grandma, right, on the outside, but on the on the chessboard, she she is such a savage as you saw here. And and a Mike and Colette great matchup as well in terms of personality and styles. So, kudos to both and great job Colette there at the end as well. And we're going to go over the analysis. Um, here's the thing about end games. They can be so tricky because, look, you can be completely winning. One side can be completely winning. And then with one move, it's a draw, right? And then one move, it's back to the other side winning. So let's let's cover that line right now. So so let's go back here in this position. In the game, King D5 was played. It went from negative 7.4, completely winning for black, to, to a draw. So let's go move back here. How would you finish this game off as black? This is a good end game. Um, tactic yes the move is king c4 the idea is obviously you want to come here chop 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 all these in queen now let me ask you a question you're playing white what do you do do you play passive play defense here or do you go for it do you go all the way down here you know chop off the pawns create a passer and queen here do you think you can do it faster in time for black and the answer is no. Black is way too too close to the action. This this king is too far away. It's not going to make it. So, got to come in for some defense. King b3, and I will protect this pawn. No worries. I will take this pawn. And now basically, uh, white is hopeless here. He, uh, I mean, he's just going to shuffle back and forth trying to protect these pawns. Black can slowly advance his and. Um, White can have thrown this reserve tempo, but it doesn't do anything. And basically, what you want to do here as black, find the find the finishing blow here as black here. Yes, a3. You want to separate these pawns, and basically, you're going to take this, and you're going to queen this c pawn, and that'll be all she wrote. So that was the way to knock it out as black. Now, how do you draw this as white? So in the game, we had king d5 and then b3 was played which seemed like a good move right but we saw what happened um 
Colette able to kind of clean up and use the strategy. So let's go all the way back here. Instead of B3, what would be another move for white? It looks good, actually, right? I mean, because you're kind of blocking out the stuff, but um, you kind of get boxed out. You allow you allow um, black to kind of come in here. So let's go all the way back here. What would be another move for white here? Yes, knowing the other line, right? Black moved here, so you want to prevent that with king d3. And now, um, now it's basically you're just gonna hold the line as white. That's that's what you're gonna do here, and everything will kind of get locked up and basically go back and forth. And this is a draw, so that is how tricky the end game can be. It can go from completely winning to drawing to back to completely winning so <laughs> this is the most complex aspect of the game but um but it's hard to see when you're the one playing man outsider sees everything so but what a great entertaining game by these two colette is back hopefully we'll, um she'll come back more frequently people love to see her and uh she is so sweet guys she's such a sweetheart on the outside and a savage on the chessboard so <laughs> and i think it matches up well too because mike is kind of like that too you only see the savage side of mike on the chessboard but after the game is over he turns into a sweet guy too so it's kind of like they're both mirrors of each other but different genders in a way so that's that's great to see so great game guys hope you guys enjoyed it let me know that in the comments below don't forget to like share comment and subscribe with the notification thanks we'll see you guys tomorrow